Hello and welcome to this millennial review where today we're going to be going through the setup and function of the DustJet 4155E. This HP printer is a multi-function printer and we'll pop it out of the packet and then we'll go through the setup, the ink install, and then of course how to connect it to your computer so you can print wirelessly straight from your laptop with no cords at all. Out of the package, the first things to note is that it is going to come with some information it's going to come with some info about their ink cartridges. It should give you some info, yes, of course, on their Never Run Out program, uh, which is just a kind of a subscription way to sell you some ink. So use that if you want to, a reference guide. And then, of course, a few other pieces of literature on how to get this printer set up. Now, also, as we pull inside, you'll notice on the packaging, we've got these two different icons. The one on the right-hand side, well, that's telling you the power plug. So this is going to be the plug to plug it into the wall. And then on the other side, we're going to get our ink. So this looks like it's the black ink. And then it should, might require, oh, there it goes. It should have our color ink set up as well. This is a tri-color setup. And then from there, I suggest you flip the printer onto its side, and then you should be able to pull the printer out of the box. So we'll get this pulled out. And so the printer itself is going to be shrink wrapped to keep it nice and dry, even if some humidity came around it. And you'll want to take your knife or whatever you use to take the plastic. And this is where we get to move into some of the ASMR with pulling all these nice pieces of tape off. And these are put into place so that things don't open accidentally during shipping. So we'll pull all of that out. Basically that pulled out the blocker for the ink. And then let's open the top up. You have this tape right there. It's plastic covering. Ooh. So fresh. I like a nice new printer. And then the last thing you're gonna need to do is flip it up on the bottom. And underneath here, we've got another piece of tape. And uh, this tape is what is holding access to the paper roller if something were to get jammed. So we can click that back into place. So at this point, it's time to plug it in. And with your wire plugged into the wall, this side is what's going to plug in to the back of the printer. So we're gonna rotate around to the very back. And you see this one outlet right there? That's where we can plug it in. So that's gonna give it power to print from. And I should also mention that if you're wanting to do USB through a corded connection, it can plug right into the end. Or just as this logo is saying, you don't need it because, uh, well, this one's Wi-Fi. And with the printer plugged in, we can now hit the power button, which is over here on the right hand side. And that's going to power on the printer. So let's take a look. So it's calling out the blinking blue light for Wi-Fi because it's not connected yet. It's got zero of anything happening and it's out of ink. So I think it's time we put some ink in. The first step in changing the ink on your printer is to go ahead and make sure that you've got the printer powered on and then that you have both your black ink cartridge as well as your tricolor cartridge. Black ink and the tricolor are what's gonna make it happen. And to install the ink, you'll need to drop down this front cover. And then on the inside, you'll see this cover here, which we can go ahead and pull down the ink cartridge carrier so this carrier, the left-hand side is the 67 tricolor, and the right-hand side is the 67 HP black ink cartridge. So we'll start with a black cartridge. Go ahead and tear it open. Then we've got our ink cartridge. Couple of steps here. So first, let's go ahead and shake the ink cartridge. We wanna do so to make sure that after sitting, it's gonna be ready to be used. Then once you've done that, You've got this pull down orange tab covers the jet that the ink comes out of that you don't want to touch. And then that's the circuit board that connects to the printer, letting it know that you've got good quality, genuine ink. Now this printer will work with aftermarket ink if you need to. So in the future, you can purchase that. And I'll have linked down below both the black as well as the tricolor in original as well as in generic form too. So now we've got the uh, tricolor, which will shake up just like the other one. 
and then pull down on this tab and uncover the ink cartridge ready to be installed. And then you're going to hear the printer go through a few different checks. And the most important thing to notice is it's now going to show both full on color, the tricolor option, as well as on the black ink. And there you've installed the ink. We'll go ahead and slide some paper into the printer. That way it's ready to use. It's just going to slide right into the top. And we've got to connect this up to Wi-Fi to be able to wirelessly print. Now wirelessly printing is going to be super simple. Just go onto your computer to 123.hp.com and this will bring you directly to the screen to either set it up on your mobile phone or your computer. Because HP says it's recommended to do this from a mobile device, go ahead and open my camera screen 123hp.com then install HP Smart Oh, it's going to want to go through a app process. Of course it does. And then we can go ahead and open the app. Oh, I don't want notifications, but you could turn them on if you do. Accept all after you read them, of course. And then here we can set up a new printer. Wi-Fi, continue. Yes. Get it ready by having it active devices. Okay. Only while using the app, only this time. I don't want them to know too much, but it sees the printer, the 4100 series, and then just go ahead and toss your Wi-Fi password in. Once you put your password in, it's gonna find the printer, prepare the printer. And there you are, your HP printer is installed and you've got the option to turn on their HP Plus, which is a print from anywhere feature that's up to you but i'm gonna go ahead and skip that today decline hp plus and then now you can set up a account should you want to to be able to get your ink things like that we're gonna skip all of these for now but feel free to set them up on your own so now at this point i'm sure you're probably saying that's great and all we got it set up on our phone but what about our computer so here i'm gonna hit Control p because i want to print this page let's just say i do and that you do too. And so on your browser, because it's now connected to the internet, we can go down to see more and allow your computer to find this printer. So in this case, we're not seeing it inside of here because I haven't added it yet. So you can click on manage and then under manage, you can then click add a device on windows. It's gonna refresh and you see, pops up nice and fresh right on top and we click add device now when it does that it's going to connect to the printer and set everything up which is super awesome to see and once it's done connecting we'll be ready to print and then it's going to connect followed up with install the software finishing up saying ready and now we're good to print let's go ahead and control p this because we do want to print it out to see more printers just like before and we can select that DeskJet 4100 series which we have right now. So we are good to print. Just go ahead and click the print button and let's zoom out and see what happens. All right, so we've got our page printed there. And there we are, there's our second page. And let's say you wanted to make a copy of this. All you gotta do is open up the top just like that and slide the corner into that top corner. You can kind of see the uh, knurled edges there. Go down, then you have the option of color or black and white. In this case, I'm gonna hit black and white, save a little bit of ink on this trial. So you press that, 
It's going to scan across the scanner bed and print out your sheet. Now, the process of doing so is actually the exact same if you were to do this on the top scanner bed where you can do multiples at once. So as I was saying earlier, when you flip this open, you can set in multiple sheets of paper at once, just like so, and be able to scan them. They'll spit out and then the printing will spit out too. And if we wanted to go ahead and scan those instead of copy them, you can open up your fax and scanner function. And in here, let's click a new scan. So when doing so, your computer is going to automatically find what computers or printers, I should say, are connected. In this case, we've got that 4100 series. Click OK. And then it's going to prompt you to either scan via the flatbed, which is when we have it open like that, or through the feed up top, which is what we're doing in this case because we're wanting to scan more than one at a time. And then just print scan. And what's going to happen is it's going to start by scanning or pulling in your first piece of paper. And you'll see it spits out that piece of paper right onto the bed, grabs the next one to go in. In this case, we're gonna scan three sheets. And almost like magic, after it's scanned that final sheet, we'll go back to the software where it's gonna be uploading the scans that came through and boom, there you go. We've got our scans made. And that is how you're going to use your HP 4155E. We got this out of the box, assembled, ink installed, synced up. We've scanned, we've printed, we have even copied, all set. So hopefully this helped you out. And if it did, be sure to leave both a thumbs up as well as hit subscribe so you can see more videos like this in the future.